Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 1. Now, King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Wherefore his servants said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord, the king, a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her lie in your bosom, that my lord, the king, may get heat. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coasts of Yashara'el, and found Eth Avishach, a Shunamith, and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair, and cherished the king, and ministered to him, but the king knew her not. Then Adonaiyahu, the son of Shagith, exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. And his father had not displeased him at any time in saying, Why have you done so? And he also was a very goodly man. And his mother bore him after Avshalom. And he conferred with Yoav, the son of Seruyah, and with Aviathar, the priest. And they, following Adonaiyahu, helped him. But Sedach, the priest, and Benayahu, the son of Yahuyada, and Nathan, the prophet, and Shemi, and Rei, and the mighty men which belonged to David, were not with Adonaiyahu. And Adonaiyahu slew sheep and oxen and fat cattle by the stone of Zocheleth, which is by Ain Rogel, and called at all his brethren the king's sons, and all the men of Yahuda the king's servants. But Ethnathan the prophet, and Benayahu, and Eth the mighty men, and Eth Shalomah his brother, he called not. Wherefore Nathan spoke unto Bathsheba, the mother of Shalomah, saying, Have you not heard that Adonaiyahu, the son of Shagith, reigns, and David our Lord knows it not? Now therefore come, let me, I pray you, give counsel that you may save Eth your own life and Eth the life of your son, Shalomah. Go and get you in unto King David and say unto him, Did not you, my lord, O king, swear unto your handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Shalomah, your son, shall reign after me and he shall sit upon my throne? Why then does Adonaiyahu reign? Behold, while you yet talk there with the king, I also will come in after you and confirm at your words. And Bathsheba went in unto the king into the chamber, and the king was very old, and Avishag the Shuna Amith rather the Shunamith, ministered Eth unto the king, and Bathsheba bowed and did obeisance unto the king. And the king said, What would you? And she said unto him, My lord, you swore by Yahuwah Eloheka unto your handmaid, saying, Assuredly Shalomah your son shall reign after me and he shall sit upon my throne. And now, behold, Adonaiyahu reigns. And now, my lord the king, you know it not. And he has slain oxen and fat cattle 
and sheep in abundance, and has called all the sons of the king, and Aviathar the priest, and Yoav the captain of the host. But Shalomah your servant has he not called. And you, my lord, O king, the eyes of all Yashereel are upon you, that you should tell them who shall sit on the throne of my lord, the king, after him. Otherwise it shall come to pass, when my lord, the king, shall sleep with his fathers, that I and my son Shalomah shall be counted offenders. And lo, while she yet talked with the king, Nathan the prophet also came in, and they told the king, saying, Behold, Nathan the prophet. And when he was come in before the king, he bowed himself before the king with his face to the ground. And Nathan said, My lord, O king, have you said, Adonaiyahu shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne? For he has gone down this day, and has slain oxen, and fat cattle, and sheep in abundance, and has called all the king's sons, and the captains of the host, and Aviathar the priest. And behold, they eat and drink before him, and say, Elohim, save King Adonaiyahu. But me, even me, your servant, and Sedoch, the priest, and Beneyahu, the son of Yahuyada, and your servant, Shalomah, has he not called? Is this thing done by my lord the king? And you have not showed it, Eth, unto your servant, who should, who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? Then King David answered and said, Call me Bathsheba. And she came into the king's presence and stood before the king. And the king swore and said, As Yahuwah lives, that has redeemed hath my soul out of all distress, even as I swore unto you by Yahuwah Elohim of Yashereel, saying, Assuredly, Shalomah, your son, shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne in my stead. Even so will I certainly do this day. Then Bathsheba bowed with her face to the earth and did reverence to the king and said, Let my lord King David live forever. And King David said, Call me Sedach the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Beneyahu the son of Yahuyada. And they came before the king. The king also said unto them, Take with you Eth the servants of your lord, and cause Eth Shalomah my son to ride upon my own mule, and bring him down to Gihon. And let Sedach the priest, and Nathan, the prophet, anoint him there, king over Yashereel. And blow ye with the shofar, and say, Elohim, save King Shalomah. Then ye shall come up after him, that he may come and sit upon my throne, for he shall be king in my stead. And I have appointed him to be ruler over Yashadael and over Yahuda. And Beneyahu, the son of Yahuyada, answered Eth the king and said, Amen. Yahuwah Elohai of my lord the king, say so too. As Yahuwah has been with my lord the king, even so be he with Shalomah, and make his throne greater than the throne of my lord King David. So, Sedok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Beneyahu the son of Yahuyada, 
and the Kerathim, and the Pelathim, went down, and caused Eth Shalomah to ride upon Eth King David's mule, and brought him to Gihon. And Sedok, the priest, took Eth a horn of oil out of the tabernacle, and anointed Eth Shalomah, and they blew the shofar, and all the people said, Elohim, save King Shalomah. And all the people came up after him, and the people piped with pipes, and rejoiced with great joy, so that the earth rent with the sound of them. And Adonaiyahu and all the guests that were with him heard it as they had made an end of eating. And when Yoav heard at the sound of the shofar, he said, Wherefore is this noise of the city being in an uproar? And while he yet spoke, behold, Yahunathan, the son of Aviathar, the priest, came. And Adonaiyahu said unto him, Come in, for you are a valiant man, and bring good news. And Yahunathan answered and said to Adonaiyahu, Truly our lord king David has made Eth Shalomah king. And the king has sent with him Eth Sedoch the priest, and Eth Nathan the prophet, and Benayahu the son of Yahuyada, and the Karathim, and the Pelathim, and they have caused him to ride upon the king's mule. And Sedoch the priest and Nathan the prophet have anointed him king in Gihon. And they are come up from thence rejoicing, so that the city rang again. This is the noise that ye have heard. And also Shalomah sits on the throne of the kingdom. And moreover, the king's servants came to bless Eth our lord, King David, saying, Elohim maketh the name of Shalomah better than your name and maketh his throne greater than your throne. And the king bowed himself upon the bed. And also thus said the king, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Yashere'el, which has given one to sit on my throne this day, my eyes even seeing it. And all the guests that were with Adonaiyahu were afraid and rose up and went every man his way. And Adonaiyahu feared because of Shalomah and arose and went and caught hold on the horns of the altar. And it was told Shalomah, saying, Behold, Adonaiyahu fears King Shalomah, for lo, he has caught hold on the horns of the altar, saying, let eth king Shalomah swear unto me today that he will not slay eth his servant with the sword. And Shalomah said, If he will show himself a worthy man, there shall not a hair of him fall to the earth. But if wickedness shall be found in him, he shall die. So king Shalomah sent and they brought him down from the altar, and he came and bowed himself to the ki to King Shalomah. And Shalomah said unto him, Go to your house, 